Ever wondered how researchers ensure the validity of their findings? One method is through peer debriefing. This technique is a cornerstone in qualitative research, playing a pivotal role in enhancing the validity and credibility of research findings. It's all about sharing. Sharing research findings, interpretations, and experiences with peers and colleagues. The goal? To gain different perspectives and feedback. The primary aim is to ensure rigor, accuracy, and credibility in the research process by incorporating diverse viewpoints and minimizing biases. Peer debriefing comes with several strengths that make it a valuable tool in research. Its power lies in enhancing validity by identifying potential biases or errors, thereby improving the accuracy of findings. It fosters diverse perspectives, allowing for a more comprehensive analysis of data. The process also paves the way for quality improvement through facilitating discussions and critical reflections among peers. Furthermore, peer debriefing fosters a supportive environment promoting exchange of ideas and collaboration on refining research methodologies. These strengths make peer debriefing an invaluable tool in ensuring the credibility and validity of research findings. Despite its strengths, peer debriefing also has its limitations. The feedback received can be subjective, influenced by the reviewer's own biases. Then there's the challenge of finding peers with relevant expertise who are also available. Organizing these sessions can be a drain on time and resources, and there's a risk of over-reliance believing that peer debriefing alone can address all potential research issues. These limitations remind us that while peer debriefing is a valuable tool, it should be used in conjunction with other research validation methods. Like any method, peer debriefing must be utilized with balance. It's a technique that can enhance the validity of research findings, provide various perspectives, and improve overall quality. Simultaneously, it's important to remember its limitations. Feedback can be subjective. Finding suitable peers may be difficult, and it requires time and resources. Over-reliance on this method may not address all research issues. Hence, it's best used as part of a broader validation strategy. Recognizing the strengths and limitations of peer debriefing ensures researchers use this tool effectively, maintaining the integrity of their findings.